Thank you for purchasing our product. This instruction DVD explains the basic operations of the machine. Preparation Connecting the power supply Before connecting the machine to the power supply, make sure to turn the power switch off. Connect the power supply cord by inserting the plugs into the machine and a power outlet. Turn the power switch on. Machine operating buttons and function keys. Start stop button. Press the start stop button to start or to stop the machine. Thread cutter button. Press this button to trim the threads after sewing. Home key. Press this key to enter the category selection. Open file key. Press this key and the open file window will open. You can open embroidery design saved in the machine's internal memory or on a USB flash drive. Set mode key. Press this key to enter the setting mode. You can customize the machine settings to your preference. Help key. Press this key to view the step-by-step -step visual guide to the essential operations. Lockout key. Press this key to lock out the machine when threading the machine, replacing the accessories, etc. To reduce the risk of injury, all the buttons and keys are deactivated. To unlock the machine, press the lockout key again. Next page key. To view the next page, press the next page key. Previous page key. To view the previous page, Press the previous page key. Winding the bobbin. Press the lockout key. Slide the hook cover release button to the right and remove the hook cover. Take out the bobbin. Put the bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Place a spool of thread on the spool pin and secure the spool with the spool holder. Hold the thread with both hands and guide the thread around the bobbin winder thread guide. Hold the thread with both hands and wind the thread around the bobbin clockwise several times. Insert the thread into one of the slits of the flange plate and pull the thread to cut it. Push the bobbin winder spindle to the right. The visual touch screen will show the bobbin winding sign. Press the start stop button. Stop the machine when the bobbin is fully wound and stop spinning. Return the bobbin winder spindle to the left. Remove the bobbin. Insert the thread into one of the slits of the flange plate and pull the thread to cut it. Press the lockout key. Place the bobbin in the bobbin holder with the thread running off counterclockwise.
Hold the bobbin in place with your fingertips so it does not rotate. Guide the thread into the front notch of the bobbin holder. Pass the thread under the guide and pull it to the left. Pass the thread into the guide path marked 1 and 2. Pull the thread to the right through the slit. Insert the hook cover plate. Use the extra spool pin when you need to wind the bobbin without unthreading the machine. Insert the extra spool pin into the hole. Place the spool of thread on the spool pin and secure the spool with the spool holder. Threading the machine. Raise the presser foot lifter. Press the lockout key. Turn the hand wheel toward you to raise the needle to its highest position. Place a spool of thread on the spool pin and secure the spool with the spool holder. Hold the thread with both hands and pass the thread into the slit of the pretension thread guide. Wind the thread around the pretension thread guide once. Draw the thread around the corner of the upper thread guide. Firmly pull the thread toward you until the thread snaps. Pull the thread down along the right channel. Pull the thread up around the guide plate and along the left channel. Slip the thread into the eye of the take-up lever and pull it down along the left channel. Pass the thread through the lower thread guide from the right to the left. Pass the thread through the needle bar thread guide from the right and draw it to the left firmly. Lower the presser foot. Turn the hand wheel toward you until the needle thread sign appears on the right upper corner of the lockout window. Holding the thread near the spool with your hand, pull the thread up to the left, over the needle threader guide. Be sure that the thread passes through the slit of the needle threader. Pull the thread up. Slip the thread between the thread cutter and the face plate. Pull down the needle threader knob down as far as it will go. Raise the threader slowly so a loop of the thread is pulled up through the needle eye. Pull the thread end through the needle eye. Pass the needle thread through the hole in the embroidery foot. Hang the thread on the thread holder from front to back. Preparing the hoop. Hoop SQ14B, SQ20B or RA20B. Attach a stabilizer to the wrong side of the fabric. Draw the center lines on the fabric. Lay the inner hoop and template on the fabric. Match the center lines of the fabric with the template. Loosen the hoop tightening screw on the outer hoop. Place the inner hoop and fabric on the outer hoop. Push the inner hoop and fabric into the outer hoop.
Tighten the screw on the outer hoop. Remove the inner hoop and fabric. Push the inner hoop and fabric into the outer hoop again. Remove the template. Clamp the fabric to the hoop with the clamps when using hoop SQ20B or RA20B. Make sure that the fabric is stretched tightly in the hoop. Press the lockout key. Place the prepared hoop on the machine. Engage the notches with the pins on the carriage while pulling the lever toward you. Push the hoop against the pins and release the knob to lock the hoop in place. Hoop RE36B Attach a stabilizer to the wrong side of the fabric. Draw the center lines on the fabric. Remove the inner hoop. Lay the inner hoop and template on the fabric. Match the center lines of the fabric with the template. Place the inner hoop and fabric on the outer hoop. Push the inner hoop and fabric into the outer hoop. Turn the outer hoop levers halfway and turn the hoop tightening screws with your fingers. Pull the four sides of the fabric to stretch it tight. Turn the outer hoop levers in the direction of the arrow. Remove the template. Clamp the fabric to the hoop with the clams. Make sure that the fabric is stretched tightly in the hoop. Press the lockout key. Place the prepared hoop on the machine. Engage the notches with the pins on the carriage while pulling the lever toward you. Push the hoop against the pins and release the knob to lock the hoop in place. Embroidery sewing. Selecting patterns from built-in designs. Press the built-in design key and the pattern selection window opens. You can browse the pattern list by design category or by hoop size. Browse the list with the page key until the desired pattern is shown. Select the desired pattern by pressing the pattern icon key. Press the OK key and the carriage will move to center position.
press the OK key and the Ready to Sew window appears. The visual touch screen displays information such as hoop size, dimensions of the design, number of threads, required sewing time, etc. Lower the presser foot and press the Start Stop button. After sewing several stitches, stop the machine, trim the thread and press the Start Stop button again. The machine will sew the first color section and stop automatically when it has finished. Change the thread to the next color and start the machine again. Monogramming Press the monogram key and the monogram window for Gothic font will open. You can select one of the 10 fonts for monogramming as well as 2-letter, 3-letter, border patterns and normal sew patterns. The size of letters can be changed by pressing the letter size key. Press the letter or number key to enter the desired character. To delete the character, press the cursor key to move the cursor under the character you want to delete. Press the delete key. To insert the character, move the cursor to the desired position and enter the character. Press the OK key and the screen shows the Ready to Sew window. Editing the embroidery designs In the editing mode, you can edit and combine designs to create your own original embroidery designs. Press the editing mode key to open the editing window. You need to select the appropriate hoop before editing the designs. Press the hoop selection key and select the hoop you wish to use. Press the home key. You can open the built-in designs, monograms, and designs from a USB flash drive into the editing window. Select the data source for the design you wish to open. Select the desired pattern in the pattern selection window. The editing window displays the pattern you selected. To change the size of the design, press the Resize key and the Resize window opens. Press the plus or minus key to change the design size. Press the OK key. Press the layout keys to move the design in the editing window, or drag the design to the desired position. To make a copy of the design, press the duplicate key.
When you need to delete the design, select the design and press the delete key. Press the next set key and the rotate key to open the rotation option window. Press one of the four keys to rotate the design clockwise or counterclockwise. Press the OK key. To flip the design, press the vertical mirror key or horizontal mirror key. Press the OK key. Press the OK key and the Ready to Sew window appears. Check the embroidery hoop size and press the OK key. File Management Saving designs as stitch data files you can save original embroidery designs as files in the built-in memory and or on a USB flash drive. Press the Save File key to open the Save File window. Press the built-in memory key or a USB flash drive key to select the location to save the file. Open the folder. The file name is assigned automatically starting from number M001. If you wish to change the file name, press the rename key to open the keyboard window. Enter the new name and press the OK key. Press the OK key to save the design under the new name. Opening a file. When you press the Open File key, the Open File window appears. Press the built in memory key or a USB flash drive key to select the location. Open the folder. Press the desired file icon and the embroidery window of the saved design appears on the screen. Press the OK key. Press the OK key and the Ready to Sew window appears. Check the embroidery hoop size and press the OK key. Customizing the machine settings. You can customize the machine settings in the machine setting mode. Press the Set Mode key to enter the setting mode. There are three setting modes. The Common Setting, Embroidery Setting, and Language Selection. For example, let's customize the maximum embroidery sewing speed. Press the Embroidery Setting Mode key to open the Embroidery Setting Mode window. Go to page 2 of 6 by pressing the Page key. Press the plus key to increase the speed or press the minus key to decrease the speed. To activate your custom settings, press the OK key. Care and Maintenance Replacing the Needle Check the needle frequently to ensure that its tip is not rough or blunt. Replace it with a new needle if it is dull or bent. Be sure to turn off the machine and disconnect it from the power supply.
To replace the needle, loosen the needle clamp screw with a screwdriver and remove the needle. Insert a new needle with the flat side facing back. Push the needle up against the stopper and tighten the needle clamp screw securely with the screwdriver. Cleaning the machine. It is recommended to clean the hook area and automatic thread cutter device at least once a month. Be sure to turn off the machine and disconnect it from the power supply. Remove the needle and press your foot. Press the hook cover release button to the right and remove the hook cover. Take out the bobbin from the bobbin holder. Remove the set screws on the needle plate with a screwdriver. Remove the needle plate and take out the bobbin holder. Clean the bobbin holder with a lint brush. Apply a few drops of the bobbin holder cleaner to a soft cloth and wipe the bobbin holder both inside and outside. Clean the thread cutter device and hook raise with a lint brush. Wipe the inside of the hook raise with a cloth. Attach the bobbin holder in the hook raise, making sure the knob fits next to the stopper of the hook raise. Attach the needle plate and hook cover plate. Attach the presser foot and needle. For oiling the machine, refer to the instruction manual. Wipe the machine body using a soft cloth. Never use benzene or other chemical solvents for cleaning the machine body. Regular maintenance will ensure that your machine runs trouble-free.